he is amongst us. He's the one that brings about the changes in our lives. He plays tricks on us. I was um, very young when I started gathering stories. I would uh, visit um, grandmothers, and um, grandmothers um, gave me a sense of security. <laughs> they gave me a sense of, uh, of strength and character, and they tell me Nenebush stories are told in the winter time because everything is resting. The winter time is a time of introspection, a uh, time of going, going within and contemplating on, on life. And so everything is, is, is asleep, everything is, is quiet. Ha bonjour. You'll notice I didn't say bonjour, I said bonjour. And that comes from and it's mainly just to acknowledge the fact that uh, I'm uh, one of the original people and I stem from Wenabujo. So I come from that, uh, from that, our, um, our people come from, from Wenabujo. Anishinaabe comes from Wenabujo. Uh, he's uh, called uh, different names, uh, different uh, nations uh, have different names, uh, but for us, uh, his original name is Wen Abujo, from whence. Um, uh, that's, his, that's his name. And uh, in the past, uh, I've heard uh, different ways of uh, uh, referring to him, such as Nenebush, Wen Abujo or just Nenebojo, but uh, the most common one is Nenebush. Because of our stories and because of the way we are, we are both. Uh, we are both male and female. In Anishinaabemuin, in our language, there is no he or she, which is interesting. There's um, uh, the, uh, the pronoun I and you, but there's no he or she. There's, there's an O. <laughs> there's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful story in, uh, in our creation, uh, in our creation story about the original man and uh, um, how he didn't want to leave uh, the Creator's side because of what he felt after being molded and shaped and given, given life. And uh, that sacred breath was breathed into him. He um, didn't want to leave uh, because of what he felt. After he had been molded and shaped and uh, he was encouraged by the Creator, now I have given you life. I have given you uh, this uh, beautiful, beautiful way, a beautiful road, and now go and experience life. Go and live life to the fullest. As he left the Creator's side to come and live his life to experience this beautiful, beautiful life, he, um, each level as he came through the different layers from the star world, from, from the universe, as he was being lowered, as he was making his way, he saw a most beautiful, beautiful woman. And the beautiful woman that he saw was Mother Earth. And so he realizes she's already whole, she's already complete. 
and uh, he even the way he wanted to come come and touch the earth he saw that he was the last one to be created he was the last one because everything is already in place she's got her most beautiful beautiful shawl on the greenness of the greenness her most powerful time and uh, everything everything is alive everything is um, in movement the four legged the swimmers the crawlers everything she sustains life she brings forth life and so he saw that he recognized that and um, and so that's why he just put his toes out like this so that he would come down ever so gently when i when i hear that story about how he was lowered and how he touched the earth to me i see a uh, uh, a great lesson there about humility and about compassion and uh, and that uh, uh, the earth is already whole without without him and he embraces it he embraces it then he um, he walks about and uh, he goes experiences what's out there and uh, realizes that uh, he's a part of the whole. He goes out and introduces himself to the trees, to the plant life, to everything in creation, to the four-leggeds, the swimmers, the crawlers and the flyers, all, everything in creation. He goes and introduces himself. This is who I am. And um, he notices that there's two of everything. There's male and female in all things. He comes back and uh, asks, um, everybody has a partner. Everything out there has a partner. What about me? I don't have a partner. And so he was given somebody to walk with. He was given uh, Maingan, the wolf, to walk with. So they spent time together and they learned from each other until eventually, um, after having spent time, uh, they were told to go their separate ways. They would always be connected. I really feel that uh, from what uh, the stories that I've, I've learned, the stories that I've heard, is vital. It's really, really vital to, uh, to share our stories, to tell stories, because from there, they, uh, they bring us, they uh, give us uh, uh, principles of life to live by because that's, uh, that's the way he was, that Nenebush. He was, uh, a, he's a trickster. He's, uh, he's a comic, he plays tricks on you and uh, he's not perfect. And um, th that's the human side. No, we are not perfect. He can be jealous, he can be greedy, he can, uh, he can be outrageous and, um, and do crazy things, human things, but also you, uh, you see the, uh, the spiritual aspect, the, the spirit side with that sense of um, great love and, and compassion. When I look at my, my blessings that I've, I've lived a full life and I'm grateful. I'm so grateful, so grateful for these beautiful stories and that, that crazy Nenebush and how much he's taught us. And so I really feel that he is amongst us. He's the, he's the one that, uh, that uh, brings about the changes in our lives. He plays tricks on us and he causes things to to uh, unfold and to, to uh, help us to see. He helps us. And so I say miigwech to that, uh, to that crazy one, that Nenebush.